Happy Spirit Day. Happy more happy day to all of you. Um today is Thursday, June 9, and today's gospel is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 20 to 27. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says you fool will be liable to the fiery gina. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar and go first and be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while you're on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown to, into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Beautiful. Somebody said to me, um karma is real and I said I don't believe in karma because I'm Catholic because I believe in the gospel and that is the gospel that in everything you do in social science there's equal enough equal reaction to it couple of things that I would like to remind you of on our aspiration to holiness. Again, we do not aspire for holiness just because we aspire to be holy because we wanted to go back to our God. We would like to reach that type of holiness where we can enter the kingdom of heaven to where we will, to go where we belong. As God's creation, he created everything that is good and worthy of praise. And then Adam and Eve sinned and we, they were taken out of paradise and has been exiled for the longest time. And the son of God came to the earth lived as human and ascended as God. So he came back holy again. He came back. He died to give us the holiness, the pardon of our sins so that we could go back to heaven. So let us not put that into waste. Let us aspire for holiness so that we can experience heaven again. And honestly, if we will strive for holiness, we don't have to die to receive holiness. Just being God's children here on earth, mentally, spiritually, physically, and your whole being offered to the graciousness and glory of God, heaven can be yours while here on earth. To the power of Christ and the Holy Spirit in us. Couple of things that I would like to remind us of. One is forgiveness and love. 
love, just love. One thing that I have learned is just love. You know, people will try to do something to hurt us, to make us sin. And even, you know, the closest to our heart can tempt us to do sin against our God. That is not good for our aspiration. So just love. Why? Because if you believe in this gospel, everything has its end. And whatever you do to your neighbor, you will pay for it. So you will be granted the mercy of God when you know how to pardon, how to love. And yet, if you have been hurting your fellow brothers and sisters, fellow believers, fellow creation of God, you will not be able to enter the kingdom of heaven without paying for those. So forgive, just love. Just know that whatever they do to you, whatever, how little or grave they have done against you, just know there is a God, there is a living God that knows all these things and it will not go unnoticed. And all of this people and even us, if we made any mistake against our brothers and sisters, we will pay for it. That's why we ask for forgiveness. When we ask for forgiveness, that is also accepting our sins, be accountable to it, and pay for it. So if you have grudges with your love, you will forget about grudges because grudges will not be important to you anymore. Why? Because having those pain inside of you is not forgiving. So how can a father forgive you if you have not yet forgiven? So just release them all from the heart. Release them all. And know there is always grace. The Holy Spirit can give us that grace to be merciful and loving. Nothing else will hinder us to be good and to do good if we will rely on the love of God and the power of the Holy Spirit in us. Let us make the effort of Jesus a big gift to the Father. Jesus saved us. Let us be saved by acknowledging that love that was given in, unto us. Let us give it back, share it, multiply through it, and just love and forgive. And everything else, I tell you, when you make this gospel alive in your heart, everything else in your life will be gracious and kind because you will not even, even if they will do all the bad things against you, all you will see is the God Almighty watching over us. The God Almighty is speaking to me through this. What does he want me to do as his child? Just love. Because every evil has its end. And every good will rise from the depth. Just remember how Daniel was rescued 
from the lion's den. How Job was rescued from the plagues of the demon. How Jesus Christ was risen from the dead and ascended into heaven. And all the apostles, the prophets, and the regular days that we have lived this life, how many times God rescued us. This a, a writing of St. Paul. about you will be glorified. You will be glorified. That day will come to each one of us. Just believe in the gospel and use the gospel to aspire holiness and holiness will become ours. And do not be afraid to do good, to aspire to be holy because we are called to be one. We were born to be one. Just have the courage, just have the courage to walk this path, knowing God is watching and his love is upon us and mercy and his mercy will be with us forever. We do this all in Jesus' holy name and the cry for help, the cry for mercy and the cry for his guidance will always be with us because we know nothing in this life will be perfect until God's hands will move us, take us, and bring us to him. Trusting God is the best way to live this life. And his peace will always be with us. God bless you all. And I hope that I have given you my my contribution of making your life a little better each day through the power of the holy spirit and the holy word of god god bless you